Speaking of speeding, driver speeding and construction, both those driving one man crazy in Fayetteville. His name's Russell Honeycutt. Reached out to me. He says daily drive between mile marker 65 and 71 is rough. He wants to know when construction will wrap up and what the Highway Patrol is doing to crack down on those speeders. We're working with our law enforcement partners. The biggest problem we're having are people are going too fast and not paying attention. While construction is an inconvenience to drivers on Interstate 95, NCDOT spokesperson Andrew Barksdale says it's not what's causing the crashes. You know, our work zone is set up in accordance with the federal traffic guidelines. We have to have those concrete barriers there. He says those guidelines require at least two feet of space for workers. This is an area where there are more crashes occurring. The work zone, he says, averaging about a crash a day and is up since the start of the I-95 widening project. In the first 10 months of last year through October 31st, we've had 86 crashes in this work zone between exits 65 and 70. The data is correct. There are more crashes. People are not paying attention. They need to slow down. In an email, driver Russell Honeycutt agrees, quote, the speed limit is 60, but trucks and cars are traveling well over the speed limit. I never see law enforcement unless there's an accident. I took his concerns to the state's highway patrol. I'm told a trooper is scheduled to patrol the work zone daily and that the highway patrol is, quote, making a concerted effort to maintain a high level of visibility in that area. The faster you go, the perception is it gets narrower. Increasing your chance of crashing, hurting workers, and or being pulled over for speeding. Now, the Highway Patrol has cited over 2,600 drivers from 2021 all the way to today. Most of those citations, I'm told, are hazardous drivers. As for construction, I am told it's almost halfway done. Once completed by 2025, we'll see four travel lanes in both directions. If you have something driving you crazy on the road, you want me to help you get answers, of course, you can email me, lsmith at cbs17.com. Bill Ryan, you take this route. I take it as well to get back to, down to Charleston. Yeah. It's, it's rough, but it's going to get better. Yeah, I know. And it always seems like something's being done, but 2025 yeah. still seems like a long <laughs> way away. It is. It'll be here before we know it. It'll be yeah. nice once it's done. Yeah.